Hello and welcome to the Fieldcraft server. My name is Weird and Bearded, and today we are back at the iron farm. You can see some lovely iron golems going in to meet their demise and get me some more iron. And the reason we are here is to do a bit more decoration. So, as you can see, we have this lovely iron temple, but we also now have a nice lake. So, the lake was added in during a recent live stream every Sunday, one till four. And it just so happened well we had a nice little pond at the top right next to it so we've got a waterfall leading down and i want to make this lake look a bit better which we're going to be doing first of all i also want to add a bit of story it actually leads over to a large cave a very big cave opening it actually goes down quite deep i won't use all of it but we're going to be adding some stuff especially with the armor stands mod and we're going to be adding a little bit of story to this area I don't know why this area is becoming so massive. I only have it for the iron farm. But it's, uh, yeah, it's going to get big. So I'm going to get to work on this lake. And we will see how it turns out. And why do I need to work on the lake? Well, it's very simple. I made a nice boat to go in here. Unfortunately, I didn't measure the depth of the lake first. And the boat's a little bit too big. I could make the boat smaller. But I like the design and I'm not good at designing things, so that scares me. So instead, as you can see, I have drained the lake. I am then carving out the edges, just making the entire thing a little bit deeper. Adding in a beach area. And then refilling the lake. These are the lengths I will go to, to not make my boat a bit smaller. I will just redo it all. I've also redone the bone mealing, brought all the foliage back at the bottom. And now the lake is in a place I'm happy with. I think this is looking a lot nicer. We've got a bit of a cliff edge on this side coming down. And then on the other side, we have more of a gentle slope leading to a more beach-like area. We've got all the underwater foliage in place. Possibly a bit too much, but again, this is not my area of expertise. And then over here, we have some iron bars in place. This is just to prevent the fish going through and going down the waterfall because we have some fish to introduce to the area. So let's get those in. I have a shulker box worth of tropical fish. Maybe later I'll get some more. Uh, but just try to make this place look a little bit nicer. That's it. A shulker box is a lot when it comes to fish. I also need to make sure I don't drown. But yeah, this is already looking better. We've got some life moving around in here. So I caught these just off the coast of my uh, mining desert, where we've got a little bit of a um, coral reef. Those are words. I know words. Oh, can I get them all in before I drown? Yeah. Okay, so now we have a bit of life in the area and the sun's going down. Perfect timing. So my next task is to go and collect all the resources I need for a couple of builds in the area. And then I'm going to get my build on, ready for another time lapse. Let's see how it goes.
let me tell you a story. So there is a local gang of thieves looking for gemstones within the flowers on these iron golems, which is why they have started taking them apart. And I've loaded them up onto boats. Uh, I say boats, I mean boat. They just have the one boat. The lake is not big enough for more than one. So we have the arm from the orange iron golem loaded up on here. It, it has taken a little bit of damage as they were trying to take it down. You can see the corners missing. We'll get back to that. But that has been loaded up onto this boat. It's been strapped down with a little bit of rail magic. If I touch anything around here, the rail will break. We also have a little downstairs area which I'm going to be filling in tomorrow. There's a few things I want to do tomorrow, partly because I, I'm kind of out of time. It's been a very strange week for me. We've had breakdowns. We had the bank holiday, so I was away. Um, last night just couldn't log on for an hour or so because there was problems with Xbox. Um, so yeah, I, I, this is kind of the morning that the video goes out. So we're going to do a lot of this stuff tomorrow. Also, it would just be great to get people's input as to what they want to see. So we're going to fill in the downstairs area tomorrow. Uh, in terms of the damage that's been taken, if we head over here, I have set up one of the little guys. Again, we're going to do the rest of the thieves tomorrow, but they're all going to be blaze based. And it's almost night time, so I should sleep soon. But when they took it down, the corner fell off. It caused some damage to the bottom. He's trying to lever it out with a wooden shovel. It's probably not going to work. The rest of them will have better tools, but he's just got a wooden shovel. Let's take a quick sleep. Come on, sun, go down so I can sleep properly. Gotta sleep, gotta sleep, gotta sleep. It gets dangerous at night time. You can see I've been doing a lot of stuff with the uh, statue book. So then we go through our nice new lake with various fish inside, all of which seem to be trying to escape. As you'll see, as we get close to the crane, we just have so many fish. Oh, some of them have got over. That's not good. Yeah, the, the, the fish keep trying to escape, which then means they fall down the waterfall and eventually die because they're going to be washed onto dry land. But that's not great. Uh, we need to probably build some form of aqueduct here so that the uh the thieves can get to their hideout which i'm thinking is just going to be in this little bit of cave there is a massive cave underneath that i don't want to be spending weeks and weeks here building this up so i'll have to build a little aqueduct so that they can get down also probably a staircase for them and then here we have our crane system, which I am quite fond of. Initially, I was just going to do four regular cranes reaching out, but this was easier to design. So then we have an arm being lowered into the area. And you may have noticed when we were initially looking at the golems, there was a bit of damage at the front of one. So we'll have that already in their camp being taken apart. This also gives good practice for tightrope walking. So yeah, this place is really starting to come alive, I think. Um, again, the only thing you'll be actually coming here for is the iron farm, which has been working very nicely. It has been working very nicely indeed. I haven't counted up how much iron I've got, but I've had it running while I've been building things around here. Not the crane, I thought that was a bit too far away, and I forgot to turn the farm on. You know, got all that while building the boat, and, you know, several times over. So, we should have more than enough iron for what's coming up soon. Although I do have a big future project that I know is going to use an absolute ton of iron. So yeah, tomorrow in my stream we're going to be coming back here 
finishing off the decoration, adding more armor stands. I want to use armor stands to make a stand for this pulley system. Um, and that's <clears throat> that's kind of it. I don't know why my voice is so bad today, but apparently my voice is really rough. And yeah, that's all I've got time for. I've got to get this thing edited. I've got to get it out there. So it's a bit of a shorter episode today, but again, it's been a really weird week for me. I'm going to go stand on the shoulders of giants and say thank you all for watching. My name is Weird and Bearded, and I will see you all next time.